So let's take a look at the new iPhone. So let's start off first with the iPhone 14. So four new phones, the mini has been retired, the plus comes in instead, and the pro continue. Lots and lots of minor incremental changes. There's nothing, you know, that there's another that earth shaking something, don't expect that. First and foremost, let's talk about the 14 and the plus. Now the plus is a very interesting phone, by far the biggest battery life now on any phone. That means better than the 14 Pro Max also. So that's the interesting part in that, a nice big screen. So it's a great phone at that price point that it's coming 10,000 rupees more than the 14. So I think it's very, very interesting. First, let's take a look at my hands-on review back at the event. 14, and now it comes up with a plus version. So quite a few things, including accident, you know, car crash uh, detection it can do. A satellite linking has come in in all the iPhones, so may not really be here in India. We don't know how it's actually going to work, but it is a big deal eventually when it does come. I think it's going to make a very, very big difference. So this is the 6.7 inch plus version, which I think is great. Looks fantastic. Gives you the pro feel of a big screen. Apple's yearly refresh cycle is kicking things up a notch this year with the iPhone 14 series. It's for new phones yet again, but not in the avatar you are used to. Yes, the iPhone mini is gone, but instead, Apple fans get a plus-sized iPhone 14 that is bound to appeal to users who prefer things max size. First up, there's the iPhone 14. It might look the same, but there's a lot more going on here under the hood. The iPhone 14 and the 14 Plus both are powered by the same A15 Bionic chipset that came last year on the iPhone 13 series. The former has a 6.1 inch screen while the latter gets its large 6.7 inch screen, the same size as the iPhone 14 Pro Max. However, the big change this year is the focus on imaging and safety. To start with, the iPhone 14 series includes a powerful new camera system with upgraded sensors. There's a new 12 megapixel primary camera and upgraded telephoto sensor as well. Apple's updated Photonic Engine Imagine Enhancement software suite promises stunning photos and videos. But the real upgrade lies at the front where the phone now has a 12 megapixel front facing camera with autofocus capabilities. Meanwhile, the phone gets a new dual core accelerator that can detect G force measurements of up to 256 GS to detect differences in movement, car profiles, and accurately gauge if you have been in an accident. The phone can then call up emergency services to get you the support you need. Additionally, Apple is reaching for the stars with its satellite-based emergency SOS service. Exclusive to Apple users in the US and Canada, the service will let your iPhone connect directly to a satellite and beam through a message to emergency service in case you are lost or stranded without cellular connectivity. In addition, the service can also be used to share your location with friends and family members using Find My. Apple has added an additional color to the lineup for a total of 5 finishes and buyers can choose between Midnight Blue, Starlight Purple and a product red version of the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus. Okay, now let's talk about these two phones. So the 14 first and foremost, I would say, uh, you know, the design is the same, the notch remains, the A415 Bionic chip is still the old one. So in many ways, this is a little bit more disappointing than I had expected. There are some changes, but they are again very, very incremental. These are more algorithm based or, you know, a new gyro has been put in. Uh, you know, car crash detection, as you saw, is something very, very interesting that they've put in in this. So there are a few things they have put into it, the satellite part of it, uh, the US only eSIMs, which may be bad news for those people that actually want to buy a phone from here in the US, get it cheaper, may not work back in India. But there's nothing in the hardware other than maybe a slightly better aperture uh, f1.5 that they have out there, which will just, even if you don't care about these things, it will just give you better photography. But other than that, I think I'm not really seeing anything compelling. In fact, I think now at about under 50,000 rupees, the 13 series is looking absolutely fantastic. Now let's move on to the plus. Now here's a phone that makes sense to me. 
awesome battery life, big screen, and everything else that the 14 has. Again, the Bionic chip and everything else, not the greatest, but I still think this is worth it. Now let's take a look at my hands-on review of the Pro series. The iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max. So most or less everything has now changed. This has been a big change. The look almost the same. The colors have dynamically changed. 48 megapixel is now the sensor. That's the big deal. The notch is a whole different thing that has gone away now. You see that notch that used to be out there? It's gone. They've now got an island out here, dynamic island. Completely and absolutely changes the way you actually look at the pill. Notifications, other such things that are coming in from third party. Very intelligent what they've done with it out here. Now this is a super bright phone. 2000 nits brightness out in the sun, which makes it, I think, the brightest phone in the world. Again, also the most powerful with the A16 Bionic chip. So lots and lots of big changes, including the always on display on this one. While the iPhone 14 sounds amazing, wait till you see the upgrades on the iPhone 14 Pro. The phone is maxing out its capabilities with an all new pill shaped cutout that acts as its own display. Apple calls it Dynamic Island and it truly is dynamic. The feature blends the double cutout notch at the top of the phone with software additions that let it display controls, navigation directions, music controls or even sports scores. If that doesn't sound maxed out enough, the new cameras will. Apple is finally introducing high resolution sensors and the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max both have new 48 megapixel sensors that are capable of even better low light photography. Videography fans will also appreciate Pro RAW support at 48 megapixels for an incredible amount of detail. The updated camera sensor also allows Apple to include a new 2x zoom mode that serves as a middle step between the default camera and 3x telephoto zoom lens. But that's not it. There is also new LED flash that uses a combination of 9 LEDs that can change their pattern based on lens being used for optimal lighting. Powering all of this is an A16 Bionic chipset. While the iPhone 14 keeps the A15 for another year, the A16 Bionic brings an even higher leap in performance. Of course, the phone packs the exact same cellular connectivity features and satellite-based location sharing and emergency SOS abilities as the regular iPhone 14. And yes, like every year, the iPhone 14 Pro 2 gets a new shade. The color of the year is purple and you get a range of four shades including the already mentioned deep purple, silver, gold and space black. All right, you saw what we did out there. Now let's talk and analyze this a bit. So once again, good stuff in this one. Five or six new things in this. The new colors are great. The 48 megapixel sensor is great. Though, of course, you know, you're not really going to use that 48 megapixel sensor for more normal people, everyday people. You're not going to be shooting in pro raw and all of that. But still, it's there if you really need it. Uh, a good amount of changes in terms of the sensor is bigger. The notch, which, you know, usually would be an ugly pill shaped black little area now has become a feature, which I think is absolutely amazing. The, the dynamic island is a very interesting Thing. Of course, Apple gives their own names to most things, but here it's actually, they've taken an ugly black pill-shaped area, which is really obtrusive on the screen and made it into a feature, which I think is very, very intelligent. So quite a few things in this phone that are actually very, very nice, better battery life and all of those things. But again, the price point in India now, 10,000 rupees more for each. You are going to be spending a lakh and 30 and a lakh and 40,000 rupees for these two phones. I think they've turned out to be very expensive with very less really to look at in terms of giant mega big jumps that these phones have done. Okay, from the phones now, let's move on to the AirPods Pro 2. A lot of people have been waiting for this one. It's been three years in the making. I don't know how Apple took three years to come up with something that they've been so successful with. But again, let me give you an analysis right after I tell you what I actually did on the floor of the launch. The AirPods Pro 2. Now, again, the case remains the same, but the case now gets a speaker that is built in. So you lose this in a sofa or a cushion somewhere. You can find it because the speaker can now get you to track it. A personalized spatial audio, uh, adaptive transparency now comes in, which I think is an absolutely fantastic feature. Suppose you're out, the noise is too much, somebody's drilling something in. This can actually adapt and make sure that your ears are not absolutely shattered because of transparency mode. Other things that I really, really love in this is the fact that the noise cancellation because the H2 chip has now become 2X and XS, uh, uh, extra small little tip also comes in out here. Touch control for volume. 
So lots and lots of new things that have come in out here. If all the upgrades sound like music to your ears, you are in for a surprise. Apple has also introduced a brand new pair of AirPods. The freshly renewed AirPods Pro join Apple's growing lineup of accessories and includes a new H2 chip that enables two times better noise cancellation and six hours of battery life on a single charge. Apple has also upgraded the sound drivers and combined with spatial audio, you can expect an incredible music listening experience. The lure of new iPhone can be powerful and if you're already considering upgrading, Apple has already announced India prices for the new devices. The iPhone 14 is priced in India at the same 79,900 rupees as the iPhone 13. To get the plus size model, you can expect to pay an extra 10,000 for a total of 89,900 rupees. The iPhone 14 Pro gets a price just to 1,29,900 rupees and for the ultimate maxed out experience, the iPhone 14 Pro Max starts at 1,39,900 rupees. Finally, the brand new AirPods Pro will run you 26,900 rupees. So, we will review the new iPhones and the AirPods Pro soon on Selguru.